proton beam therapy is coming to the UK. Opening in 2018, the Christie will be one of just two sites nationally to offer this pioneering form of radiotherapy. It will revolutionise cancer care right here in the northwest. Whilst funding for the new centre has been provided by the NHS, here at the Christie, we want to take this a step further, and so our charity is fundraising for a research facility as part of this development. This research space will help us learn more about how protons work, minimise both side and late effects, and maximise the benefits for patients, particularly those patients who don't respond to other treatments. Proton beam therapy is a form of radiation therapy, uh, like x-rays, which we currently use to treat patients. Proton beam therapy has the advantages of its stopping in the normal tissues. So you can deliver treatment to a tumour and you give much less radiation to the surrounding areas of normal tissue. And that means for many patients, you can reduce the chance of late effects in the future. Proton beam therapy is really effective for children because one of the things it does is it reduces the amount of damage that goes into the healthy tissue. That means the chance of secondary malignancies later on in life is much lower. At just eight months old, Lucas Thorpe was diagnosed with a tumour on his bladder. Due to his young age, he was too fragile for conventional treatment, and so proton beam therapy was the only alternative. The long flight journey is obviously the last thing that you need when your child's poorly in the first place. Lucas was so poorly when we arrived in America and he was diagnosed with septicemia, pneumonia and meningitis. When they got him up onto intensive care and they told us the, the extent of his, his illness, his fingers and his toes started to turn purple and then black and was spreading up his legs and his arms. But he was so poorly, they had to put him on methadone because he was in that much pain. It was on Christmas Eve and they pulled us to one side and they said, listen, we've got some bad news, like, we don't think he's going to make it through the night. But he did, shocked all the doctors. And once he'd got over all these illnesses, then he could start his proton beam therapy. If he wouldn't have had to fly to go to America, Lucas wouldn't have had the other problems that he has got. When the proton beam therapy comes to the Christie at Manchester, it would be amazing for families that they don't have to be separated. They can still be together and support each other while your child's going through that treatment. Morgan Helliwell is a 15-year-old aspiring farmer and is another Christie patient who had to travel to America to receive proton beam therapy. Unfortunately, as proton beam therapy uses high energy ion beams, the side effects of the treatment can be very unpleasant. The side effects of the proton beam therapy was bad burns like someone's thrown a boiling hot kettle of water over your face, very red. The chemo had already put him in a wheelchair. The chemo had given him something called mucositis, which is like a hundred ulcers in your mouth and all down your throat, so he couldn't eat anything. So we had all that to deal with. And then we had the burnt face, which was like third degree burns on his face and his neck. Learning new things about proton beam, the treatment, the side effects, the more research they do into it can only benefit these kids. Researching proton therapy is really important because we don't know all the answers. And so what we're trying to do is develop better treatments for patients. This means much more personalised care. We would look to reduce the burns, the feelings of nausea, so better outcomes and fewer side effects. Research is vitally important in proton beam therapy. There's still a lot to learn about protons uh, their effects in the body and how the dose that proton therapy delivers is actually distributed. I met a really good friend who sadly didn't make it in the end. Everyone's not as lucky as me. I, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank Dr Ed Smith and his team at the Christie because without their help and their knowledge and their research 
I wouldn't have my boy with me today. I can't thank the Christie enough for everything that they've done. We thought it so many times that he's not going to make it, he's not going to be here and to look at him now and he's running around, he just takes it in his stride and he's amazing. I'm asking you to think about how important proton beam therapy research is to patients at the Christie. We know we can learn more, achieve more and ultimately save more lives. Will you help us? to help cancer patients like Lucas and Morgan. Together, we can make exceptional things happen. Didn't think that it would happen to me. Just, I was just living an everyday life and when you just get told that you've got cancer, you, know, you just don't think it's gonna happen to you. I came to Christopher and she's making me better. <laughs>